someone who drove with your parents, I see. Good evening. Hi, hi. Thank you very much. So we're here. We're here to celebrate uh, a very incredible young man. Music. A book about reggae music in Toronto. In a time in which most of you actually lived in. And many of the people on this stage were the ones who made the history for us. And it's an in incredible legacy that unfortunately maybe we don't celebrate enough. But tonight, we won't get to do that. And one of the things we're going to do, they told me to ask that no one brings alcohol in here. I didn't make the rules. And uh, the second thing is, what are you dancing? So, whether it's in your chair or you get up or come down the front, that is necessary today. This is, this is not the ballet. <laughs> uh, Jason Wilson, Dr. John Jason Wilson. Uh, this man has uh, done some amazing things in helping me um, grow in the rugged community. You're looking at the satellites, you're looking at Michael Williams, you're looking at Messenger. Um, the history of reggae music in this country is celebrated outside of Canada sometimes even more than we do it here. Because somehow or other we miss the fact that we have some talented people doing it. Well, I didn't. <laughs> I think tonight's a really historic night. I'm picking on you for a second because thank you. <laughs> I won't call the name. <laughs> Yeah, some people support what we've been doing for 20, 30 years, so we have some beautiful things to do. So tonight, um, we're celebrating King Alpha with all the kings and queens in this audience. Cause we need your energy tonight. I don't think you need it. they're gonna kill you with it anyway, so put your hands and your love and your energy together for the King Alpha band.
An overarching African presence persists and directs all Jamaican music. The pulsing of the Buru Nyabingi drum, for instance, replicates the thumping of a human heart with emphasis on beat three. It is the one drop that recalls the ominous time kept by a plantation's human machinery. It is a heartbeat that has shaped the trajectory of Jamaican music from its inception. The late Jamaican scholar Rex Nettleford spoke to the constant negotiation of identity that oscillates between the melody of Europe and the rhythm of Africa. Jamaican reggae is indeed a hybrid. It emerges out of a transnational collision between African and European traditions. Folk musics and customs from West and Central Africa collide with European ones. Sea shanties, dances, and ballads traverse the ocean and are reimagined by Jamaicans. In this sense, reggae evolves outside of place. It is a popular music form made by people in motion and constantly updated by sounds that rely the relay back and forth across the Atlantic.